Hey y'all, before this video starts, uh, I just want to apologize for the terrible glare on my TV screen. Um, I'm recording in the middle of the day, which I don't typically do, and, uh, well, I just remembered why. Um, I just finished recording the video, uh, as of recording this part, and realized that, um, the screen was glaring. I didn't realize while I was playing, but, uh, the camera definitely picked it up, so y'all are probably going to be a little bit annoyed by that, and certainly I will be as well, so I apologize for that. Um, but I hope you enjoy anyway. Um, it mostly glares when I'm in the dark, so, you know, this episode I'm in a cave, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I've learned, uh, not to record in the middle of the day when the sun is shining through my window. Um, so yeah, apologize for that, and, uh, I hope y'all still enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft the Island. This is episode 14. Hello, Chuck. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I've got some things to show you, and then I've got something really neat to show you that's going to be the focus of this episode. Um, you'll notice that I changed my skin back to Steve. I figured out how to change my skins. It's a long process, but did figure it out. Um, let me go upstairs. I did some organizing upstairs, so everything's more organized. But, um, I mean, you already know that I was pretty organized. I'm gonna go ahead and get my sword and my pickaxe, and let's go down here and I'll grab my buckets. Alright, <clears throat> also I'm gonna grab some dirt, and look, I've got these three full of dirt. And then I've got this. So let's grab that, and I'm gonna grab an extra stack of dirt, because we're, or how about an extra two stacks, because where I'm going I need a lot of dirt. Made some extra torches, so I'll grab a couple stacks, and all right, let's go downstairs. Oh wait, no, I forgot food. <laughs> Food's important. <clears throat> so let's grab a stack of beef, my golden apples that I found in the mine shaft, and my s a whole bunch of apples that I got recently. Uh, you'll also notice the screen might be a little bit reflective, so you might see my wall a little bit. That's just because it's in the middle of the day today. When I'm recording, I usually record at night. Uh, there's my ocean research station. Hello, Chuck. I'm going to leave the dogs here today. I was thinking about maybe bringing them along, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and organize. Uh, we're going to bring it in. There. Let's put all of the dirt here. Um, the meat will go here apple or no 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 the app the the meat never goes there um the meat goes here there we go oh you know what i completely forgot about my armor that's something that is going to be really important so let me go back upstairs and get my armor right after this all right upstairs again we go Oh, it's, it's about sunset anyway. So let's grab my armor. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So now that it's night, you see that thing in the background, I'm going to show you that in just a sec. Alright. Good morning, hello Chuck. <clears throat> and downstairs we go. Again. Let's check for monsters again. Uh, the other day I was playing and I was out in the garden and got blown up by two creepers. I had to rebuild the uh, fence there. and. It blew up my armor stand up in the attic somehow. Or not the attic, the um, second floor. It's really weird. All right. It is really cold today. It's like 26, 27 degrees outside. So I've got my heater going and it's right under my face. I can feel it. All right, so across the bridge and you see this big house that I've been working on. So you know how I showed y'all the uh, hill that I was digging down? Well, I got it dug down 
and in its place I'm putting this big house. It's not really going to be uh, the house that I live in. I'll still live on the island over there, but this house is going to be some like extra stuff. Uh, I'm going to have, um, you know, I'll have an enchanting room upstairs, I think, and uh, I'll have a cooking station in one of the wings, maybe. And I've halted building for now because I'm completely out of wheat. So, uh, if you didn't know, you need a lot of wheat in order to make uh, bricks, mud bricks. And so, <clears throat> yeah, uh, the process is a bit halted for now. But you can see it's a three-story house, and then it's going to have an attic. The, each story gets respectively smaller. And um, these first two wings are going to have roofs, and then there's going to be a roof on top there, and I'm going to make that out of stone bricks which uh, I have some in my house over there that I made, they're in my chest, um, but I haven't brought them over here yet, so yeah. Uh, usually what I do is I make the wooden frame, <clears throat> and then I build the inside and then the roof. Um, that's not exactly what I did for this house over here, I did the wooden frame as I went. But typically when I build a house, either survival or creative with a wooden frame, I do the wooden frame first, and then I build the house. Okay. I, um, I planted like two or three stacks of saplings in this area to get that much wood, and that's where I got all my apples from. And as you can see, I left some of the trees because I liked the way they looked. Um, but yeah, okay, so... The main part of this video is I was going to show you all that big cave that I found. I promised that in the last episode, so let's go head over there. So we're going to be heading over to the village. Not not this village, but the other village that I found the other day. Uh, well, okay, the, the other day. It was a couple months ago that I found it. I've known where this village was for a long time. It's weird playing on a survival world for this long. Uh, it doesn't usually happen for me. I'll um, keep playing and then I'll get bored of the world or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. But today I'm playing a 14th episode and I've been playing a lot behind the scenes. And so this survival world actually has a lot of stuff on it and a lot of things that I've been doing. So. This is probably my most diverse and most played on survival world that I have. And y'all got to see a lot of it. All right, so here's a big cave entrance. I don't know if this connects to that cave that I'm talking about, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. So let's go over this way. Ouch. How did I get a whole heart of damage even while wearing armor? from falling, what, five blocks. Okay, there's the village. All right, so let's go ahead and eat something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, so here's the village, and the entrance to the cave is going to be... There's a cat. Hello, kitty cat. The entrance to the cave is going to be over this way. This is a huge cave. Um, here's the entrance. So it looks big because of the entrance, but actually this entrance is absolutely nothing to to the actual cave. Because here, here's the other side of it. There's a zombie right here. Hello. Yeah, okay, so there's two entrances, but over here is the one that I'm actually going to be able to walk in. It's a big cave, and there's some zombies. Hello! Oh! Okay. And there's a creeper over here. Hello, buddy. Buddy boy. Ah, thank you. Huh. There's a little cave over here. Let's go ahead and check this real quick. Because why not? There's a skeleton. Yeah, let's just back out of there. 
you know, something that didn't occur to me till just now is there's going to be a lot of monsters in here. Okay. So this isn't actually... I've never been over this way. Stop it! For a second, I thought he broke my armor. Okay. Okay, so we're not interested in all these passageways here. What we're interested in is the big part of the cave to the right here. Yeah. It's... Oh my goodness. Would you stop it? Would you stop it? And there's a creeper. Well, thank you. Yeah, okay, so something that I forgot to take into my calculations was all the mobs that would be spawned down here. I don't know why I didn't <clears throat> uh, think of that. So, for the first couple minutes, this is probably going to be obnoxious, and I'll have to watch myself when I'm around the edges here. Because it goes way down close to bedrock. Hey, guy. And there's a creeper. Hello. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Having creepers blow up on me every which way. Spiders jumping out. Skeletons sniping at me. That's really the most obnoxious part is the skeletons and creepers. Okay. And here's this part that's got the opening above it. All right. Hi. <clears throat> okay, so over there is where most of the stuff is. But there's more stuff over there. But you can see how massive this place is. Uh, okay, so there's that big place there. It's like this big shelf. And then there's another level there. And then down below me here, be careful, there could be monsters sneak up behind me. But anyway, that goes down nearly to bedrock, at least halfway there. It's crazy. All right. So, okay, be really careful. So we're going to make it really wide right here. This is why I brought a whole bunch of dirt. And oof, it would be terrible to be on here and have a creeper blow up. What do you know? There's a creeper. <laughs> creeper fell. Okay. Eat something, and it looks like it's about night. I'm gonna go ahead and place a torch right here. There's some iron in the wall there. Okay, so now I've got a, well, there's a monster. Hello, zombie. All right, so now let's just walk through here, risking everything, place down torches. I mean, it's really not that bad, but hey. It makes it sound more dramatic if I say I'm risking everything. 
but you can see how big this place is and this is just the first level there's a shelf down below me and there might even be a shelf down below that here's a creeper hello all right so let's just try to light up this area and hope that there aren't too many monsters following me And that spider is probably going to start following me any time now. I just placed two torches for some reason. All right. Pretty soon, I think I'm going to have to turn around and fight a whole bunch of monsters at once, which I'm not looking forward to, if I were to be quite honest. Yeah, there's a that spider has started following me, and there's some zombies here. Skeleton, of course there's always a skeleton. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take care of that guy. There's a skeleton behind me, isn't there? Oh, there's an Enderman. Huh. There's a zombie. Hello. There's a lot of coal in here and probably a whole bunch of iron as well. I've seen a little bit. I know on the lower shelf there's a bunch of stuff that I really want to go get, but I'll get that a little bit later. For now, I just need to focus on lighting up this area here. <clears throat> I can hear that, Enderman. Yeah, there's some iron. And I wonder where those creepers went. Huh. Didn't know that was there. There's more iron. Yeah, there's a lot of iron. But for now, I'm just going to focus on trying to get this place lit up. That way I don't have a whole bunch of monsters on me. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. Oh, it's raining outside. But, you know, do the best we can. I wonder where that Enderman went to. Oh, there's a cave down there. Oh, hey, this is the... That's the part that I passed by, I remember, and I said I wonder if this connects to that big cave I was talking about. It does. Alright, light it up in here. And here. Okie dokie. Alright, and then there's that big section down here that I will probably get to later, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a creeper. Hi. Let's hope that guy doesn't push me off. There's a spider that could very easily just push me off. Okay. So he decided not to follow me. Let's go ahead and take care of this creeper over here. Well, let's get the spider first then. Hello. Goodbye. All right. Let's take care of this creeper. Hello. Got him. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, this is a pretty big cave, and there's a whole bunch of amethysts down in the... Uh, second layer, and y'all are asking why I know that. It's because I recreated this world in creative and was looking around and found this cave and explored it. <clears throat> so it's not that I turned this world in creative, I still get trophies on this world, it's that I've um, been looking on this same world in creative. Ouch. There's a slime over there and a skeleton. And the slime just fell off. Huh. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't consider that cheating because it is a different world. It is the same world, but it's a different world. Um, some of you might consider that cheating. I personally do not. But I know a little bit of this cave already. 
Okay, so this area is pretty well lit up. And I just went through a stack of torches again. Okay. So I've got this first area pretty well lit up. And let's go across here and go ahead and light up the areas that I missed. There's a creeper. Of course there's a creeper. Oh man. I was for sure thinking that I was gonna have him before he blew up, but uh, then he blew up. And water over there. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and start mining some of this iron. Because, uh, yeah, you can never have too much iron. I have like 32 blocks of iron. Actually, no, I think it's 33. 33 blocks of iron, a little extra. So, I wish I could make an iron golem farm, but um, I still haven't quite figured that out. And uh, it's a little harder in survival, I think, than it is in creative. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get this iron. There we go. Awesome. Okay. And some of this gold, why not? Yummy. Yum, 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 yum. You can never have too much coal either. In fact, I'd say it's better to have an excess of coal because that's a lot more useful than iron. Iron is definitely useful as far as crafting things, but coal is very useful. You can make torches and you need it in your furnaces. You can use wood, but um, torches, I mean, sorry, coal is a lot better. Um, I think there was more iron over here somewhere. I'm not sure where. There's definitely more coal. And there's a lot of copper, but I tend to leave the copper because there's not really that much of a need for it. I already have almost two stacks of copper blocks, so I definitely don't need any, um, any copper. There's some coal. Uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. It would be really cool if I could find more diamonds, because I don't have very many. I only, I only have two. Um, I found those down in the uh, mine shaft. I don't know if y'all saw that on video or if that was another, like, behind the scenes thing. Um. Does this connect down to that shelf? That would be nice. I think this is the other shelf. Hi. Yes, it, it uh, connects. Nice. Ah, almost got him. Mm, oh, that's gold. Nice. And more iron. There's another creeper over here, so... Oh, and watch out, because that's... That's um, gravel, so if you blew up and there's nothing under it, that would not be good. Alright, so this does... Oh, there's another creeper. Hello. This does connect to that other shelf. That's nice. Alright, and there are some... Well, I mean, it gets down there eventually, anyway. There's a lot of iron. And 
and there's a whole bunch of creepers. Oh, this is zombie villager. That was not what I expected. Okay, let's go ahead and eat something. There we go, heal up. And another creeper, of course there is. And y'all can hear my remote clicking away, I'm sure. I don't know how y'all feel about the clicking maybe it's obnoxious but to me personally i find it satisfying i don't know why at least uh at the moment all right so i haven't explored over here before i have seen over here obviously um but what i really want to look at is over here where all of the um amethysts are <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I just heard an arrow hit somewhere. There's another creeper. Hello. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this doesn't quite connect to over there. Okay, so let's, um... Get back up here after we collect some of the coal and iron and that piece of gold that I found. Awesome. This is a lot of iron. Nice. Okay, um, let's look around for more. I know there was more. I don't know if it was over here or not. There's some coal in the ceiling. That's coal. Let's see what I did there, because it's coal, and it's cool. I have to get it. Okay, that was dumb. All right. Cobblestone from the creeper, I assume. And let's get the gold over here. Okay, so there's more iron there. Not sure how well I can get that. We'll work on that later. Awesome, that's gold. Get it, because it's gold, and it's coal. And the coal is cool. Okay, that was even more dumb. Okay, no, I'm stopping. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. Um, let's light up this area just so there aren't any more monsters. Ah, there's a skeleton over there. Doesn't look like he saw me, which is okay with me. I hear a zombie. Who knows where he is? Maybe in a cave somewhere. Um, oh, there's some more iron. Okay. So let's walk around this way. Didn't realize I could walk over here, but now I do. And I missed it, of course. Ouch. Good thing I have dirt with me. Okay. More iron. Nice. Let's look around a little more. Maybe there's more iron. Yes, I'm aware that there was a cave over there that I just walked over top of. Um, there's pr probably a lot more over that way. And there is most definitely some down there. And also some gold and redstone and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Yeah, there's some gold down there. There's a spider. So there's a creeper. Um, 
but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. There's some more iron. Okay. Um, see, oh yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to get where I want to go, which is down there. Um, you can see down there, that's where I said it probably goes near to bedrock. I'm not gonna go down there, because I really don't want to get stuck down there, and I don't want to fall. Um, you can see that white square right there, that's the top of an amethyst. <clears throat> and there's like two or three of them down there somewhere. But I'm gonna leave them for now. So let's get back up to the first shelf. Let's see. Where's that cave that it came in? Right here. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's um, stack up. Mm, there we are. Alright, so we're back up here to the first shelf. And there's probably not much more coal on this le uh, coal. This is coal. There's probably not much more iron up on this level. I think I got it all for the most part. And of course, there's all those side caves, but uh, I'll leave those for now. Explore them later. Okay, um... <clears throat> And of course, I'm leaving all of this copper because what in the world am I going to use copper for? <laughs> I have two stacks of copper blocks, as I said before, that I'm never going to use. I mean, I might make a building out of copper, who knows, but why would I? Just out of curiosity. If y'all know of anything that I could use copper blocks for, then let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave them and not mess with the copper. Because, I mean, I have a lightning rod, and that's about all I'm ever going to use it for. Hello, sheeps. Just going to look down here real quick. Oh, hello. Where's that coming from? There's a zombie. Huh. Oh, and there's a creeper. Nice. Good job, creeper. Okay, and you can see everything down there. I'm not going to go down there for now. Let's stay away from the edge in case another creeper sneaks up behind me and blows up on me. That would not be fun. I'd fall all the way down there. Okay, back up to the village real quick. And I've pretty much emptied all the chests in this one, but y'all haven't seen it yet, so I'll show you. The sun's setting, so I guess I'll use one of their beds. But uh, yeah, here's another village that y'all haven't seen yet, I don't think. And there's quite a few others that I've found, but... Here's some coal. Grab some coal. There we go. Alright, let's see. Is there a bed in here? There is, and it's open. Just checking. Nothing in that chest. Okay. So, good morning. There's a farmer. There's more of a village up there, but y'all saw it, and I'm not going to go in there. I really want to get home. Um, yeah, okay, so let's walk this way. And I wonder how much iron I have. I haven't gotten to look at it. Okay, walk around this way. And through the woods. Let's, um... 
I can't walk through there without digging up the leaves, and I really don't want to do that right now, so. And pretty soon, there's a cave opening. I wonder if it's connected to that big cave. Most likely. Okay, um, pretty soon I'm going to come across a lake, I think, and the village will be across from it, the first village. Yeah, I'm going to come up into a clearing here, and there's going to be a lake. Yep, and there's the village. So we'll just follow the lake side, and we'll come across that meadow that I'm building the house in, the big house. Mud, the mud brick house. Yeah, there it is. You can see it right there. It doesn't look like much from right here, but as we get closer, it's going to look much bigger. Yeah. Thing looks huge. Imagine when it's finished and it's got the roof on it. Okay, so I'm going to go inside. And, um, you know, just out of curiosity, I'm wondering where I put... Oh, here it is. I have my, um, camera on a... I just... That's a lag. <laughs> I have my camera on a... Uh, what do you call that thing? A tri uh, it's not a tripod, because it's got four legs. But it's a, it's a selfie stick that has a base that so it can stand up got it for Christmas I've been using that uh, for my camera setup which I hadn't been doing before I had been putting my uh, camera on top of a box but this works a lot better and anyway uh, what this all started because I was looking for my um, the button because it can come off it's a little remote that you can use to yeah okay Y'all don't really need to know that. Okay, so let's see. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. And I moved all my coal upstairs. So it's a good thing I got coal. So let's put the... I've got over a stack of iron. That's nice. I'll go ahead and cook up all the iron. It would have been nice to find diamonds, but I didn't go down low enough yet, so... Alright, let's put the monster stuff away. So you've got bones. That's over a stack of bones now. I'll turn the rest of it into, um, bone meal, because, there we go. Bone meal is quite useful, especially when I'm trying to get wheat for my mud brick house. Alright, so we've got some spider eyes, uh, we've got some gunpowder, over a stack of gunpowder now. I'm set to make some D&D. Alright, some string some rotten flesh. I've got lots of rotten flesh. Eventually I want to try to trade it. Um, is there anything else that goes in here? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go up here. And um, I've got some charcoal in here, so we'll use that to smelt this gold. And let's... Uh, this is my other stones chest and you can see I've been organizing it the cobblestone does not go in there but yeah I've got it pretty organized <clears throat> excuse me and here's some more cobblestone and let's put the dirt away shall we in here so yeah I've got plenty of dirt and I actually used a good majority of what was in here to make mud and you know why, of course. It's for that big house. Um, let's go ahead and put my food back. The golden apples and then the apples. And then let's put the meat back as well. Um, and let's put my torches away. So, uh, I used about two stacks of torches, I think. Let's put the buckets away. I never used the buckets, but uh, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and put the bow in there. I'm not going to worry about getting it in its right spot for now. 
hand, I actually have a chest that's meant for coal. Yeah, right here. This is my charcoal chest, and this is the regular coal. Let's go ahead and check on the gold. It's done already. Let's go ahead and take the charcoal out of there. Put it in here. And let's go downstairs and check on the iron. It's definitely not going to be done. There's a whole stack in here. Yeah. Oh, why'd I take that out? Alright, let's go downstairs and see what's happening down here. I'd probably finish... Yep, this, this is finished already. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. And so, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Um... I didn't explore the cave too much, but y'all got to see how big it was, and there's definitely a lot of potential. I, made, I might make more videos down there, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the end of today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. That makes these videos more visible. Um, and also leave a like for Chuck, because... Where is Chuck? There's Chuck. Leave a like for Chuck, because he just needs a little more love, I think. The more likes I get, maybe the more I'll bring the dogs on trips with me, but I just haven't been uh, taking them with me. I'm not exactly sure why. But yeah, the more likes, the more likely I am to bring the dogs on uh, trips with me. Anyway, uh, also consider subscribing. I love to see that subscriber count go up. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.